All right, everybody, welcome back to the Classic Tetris World Championships. We are at the top four. Final four here, people. All right, and we are, we are going to call up the players to the stage right now. So the from our first uh, top four matchup, we've got Buko, Matt Buko. <laughs> And he's got uh, a pretty good challenger in his way right now. And that is, of course, last year's champion, Jonas. Jonas Neubauer. And then on the other side of the bracket, we have Alex Kitaru Kerr coming up. Tetris Grandmaster Kitaru. And Versus the man with the mullet, the mustache, and the center wheel, Hauser. And you know, it's interesting. We have all this information on all the players, but to maintain the mystery status, Hauser has nothing written down. We don't know anything about this guy. I think he just, <laughs> he lets his, his play uh, speak for itself. All right, there you go, there you go. You can see the players all Someone in the crowd up. is uh, holding up a sign saying Hauser is a fraud. Hauser is a fraud. Wow. Is camera over there? <laughs> I don't know, but I mean, I would have to say for his first time, quote, here, he's doing really, really well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But these players are going to sit down right now, do a little bit of warming up. Yeah, they're going to warm up, and we're going to take care of some uh, housekeeping here. That's right, of course. So uh, we want to do a huge shout out to PowerCore, and if you've seen some awesome, amazing Tetris merchandise out front at our booth there, you know, they've got, you know, keychains and t-shirts, official Tetris branded t-shirts. You know, they've been doing a great job of spreading the Tetris message and, uh, you know, getting it out there and giving <laughs> you guys some great merchandise uh, to enjoy for, uh, for tournaments like this and wherever you may go. That's right, and uh, they have graciously donated eight t-shirts for all of the top eight finishers. Top eight finishers are all getting PowerCore t-shirts, awesome. And the top four finishers, are going to be getting their own very own goofy foot controller. Oh and man, that's excellent. I wish I had a NES pad, an, an NES pad here to show you guys, but basically what the goofy foot controller is is it has been rearranged to be upside down. So the pad is on the right side now. So that way if you are used to hyper tapping, you can do it quicker. With, oh, there we go. There we go. So goofy foot controller, no this is not upside down. This is right side up for you guys. And uh, they were even had a contest earlier today where uh, two people would win it, one person who was in the top 32 and then one person who was outside of there. And SQR got the one that was in there, and I was in third place oh, man. under Corian, so I was all poised to win one of these things, and then I was taken down by Jessica, oh. so. Boo, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, good stuff to her, good stuff to her, so. <laughs> There you go. Oh, but yeah, there you go. Good reverse button controller for the NES. Feels just like an NES controller, mm -hmm. except the buttons are on the right. And, That's uh, right. Or the buttons, the D-pad is on the right. The right, and the buttons are on the mm -hmm. left. We want to remind people to uh, you know follow our uh, you know the, the Twitch channel, Classic Tetris, mm -hmm. and also the YouTube channel, Classic yeah. Tetris. Yeah, uh, you're going to be able to see a lot of, uh, for example, uh, all, a lot of the matches are going to be going up there, including the Tetris Grandmaster tournament that we had yesterday. yesterday where three players literally grandmastered within 0.40 seconds of each other. In less than a second, three players grandmastered at the, oh, basically the same time. Pretty much the most ridiculous thing you've ever seen. So. Wow. Yeah, and it's great to see you know, have, have the grandmaster game here. So you know, the people that watch our videos and are like, well, Nest Tetris is slower. Well, we, no, we've got you covered for modern Tetris too. That's with, right. Uh, more modern rules and faster gameplay from the Japanese arcades. And that's the cool thing too, because I mean, honestly, all these versions of Tetris are so different from each other. They take a lot of different strategies, a lot of different skills. You know, I'm, I'm looking for the day where we just have one giant Tetris event that's just all the different Tetris games and all the puzzle games. I mean, would everybody like to see something like that? I think that would be amazing. That would be like, like a, Tetris, a Tetris convention? Exactly. Yeah. I, let's do it. <laughs> I Tetris, mean, Tetris Con? I mean, let's face it, this is basically what that is right yeah. now. Yeah, so. it's great to see, like, our crowds are getting bigger and bigger every year. Like, Absolutely. they even give us a bigger space and a bigger screen, and yeah. who knows how big this is going to get. Yeah, and shout out to even everyone standing in the back. We're out of seats right now. We have everyone even standing in the, the background rows, to watch. If we fill all the rows, will <laughs> the people disappear in a line clear? I hope not. <laughs> I hope they stay. <laughs> 
I see a couple of empty seats. Maybe we can T-spin some people in there or something like that. So, you know. But shout outs to everybody here at the Portland Retro Gaming Expo. A great marriage between two, uh, two groups, I should say. You know, the, the classic Tetris World Championships. Right. As well as having the Portland Retro Gaming Festival. The tournament having a home, a consistent place year mm -hmm. after year. You know, you, it allows you to grow and allows you to learn from yep. what happened the previous year. Make it a better experience. Our rules have gotten more streamlined. Exactly. You know, we're able to have better technology now with uh, the, the great tech that, that Trey has okay. been providing us. You know, doing our heads-up displays with uh, being able right. to see all four players, you know, playing at the same time yep. and having everything organized in such a way. If you actually look at the yeah, Nintendo and units, they're regular NES screens. But all of their UIs have been rearranged uh, for for the viewer. Yeah, reprocessed, like processed on the fly for this beautiful in H real time HD uh, setup. And especially, look at this setup. Look at the cameras there. It's beautiful. You can see all the players right next to their screens, but they are all ready to go. So guys, like we're ready to go. This ready is to going rock. to be the top four. You guys all want to count in with us? Let's do this. Three, two, two one, one, go! go! On the top, we've got the facial hair matchup versus Hauser and Alex, and Buko versus Jonas on the bottom. I mean, to be fair, Buko's got some facial hair too. Yeah, you yeah. know, it's just Jonas here, so <laughs> he's the only clean one, clean shaven guy here right now. But uh, you see them both started again. Boom, Tetris for Buko. An interesting start for Hauser. Hauser's he's gonna got have some to do a little bit of clean up. Yeah, he's gonna be okay. But uh, once again. Losing a bit of ground to Alex, who's ready for a Tetris. Boom, Tetris for Alex. All right, and Jonas ready for a Tetris himself. He is down one Tetris, and he's Waiting just going to be able to get bar. that very soon. But yeah, a 13-piece drought, but he's Boom. fine. There it is. And just pretty much neck and neck on the bottom matchup. Alex has started to grow a lead. And Set up for another Tetris. It's really impressive watching the way Jonas plays because a lot of times once you've kind of decided where you want to put the piece, it's hard to change your mind at the last second. But I see so many micro adjustments from Jonas that, that are just really impressive. So just like right there, right there, where he just slid that over to slide that Boom, Z Tetris. piece in there. And Tetris for Ruko. And now a Tetris for Jonas as well. Again, a little micro adjustment at the end for that square piece there. Hauser's gonna build on top and get a Tetris. Boom! There's a little bit of catching up to, to do with Alex. But boom, Tetris for Buko now. And is he gonna build himself a, a, a center well here? Yep, looks like he's going for, oh no! Nope. Actually, he clears Turning it, it out, yeah. There we go, nice micro adjustment from Buko that time. Buko ready for a Tetris. Boom, Tetris for Buko. And boom, Tetris for Jonas. Jonas is ahead by a couple of Tetrises now. Yeah, true. And their pace is the same. Uh, I would say ahead by uh, two true Tetrises right now. So he's waiting, and Buko's waiting for that square piece. No, he gave up there, finally covered that up. But, ooh, this is not good. He's got a lot of uh, long columns right now. Yeah, he's, he's just going to good pieces to burn that down. Yeah, he's just going to fill those out as much as he can right now. And uh, yeah, Jonas is probably gonna grow his lead here because here comes, boom, Tetris for Jonas. Yep. Meanwhile, Hauser and Alex. Neck and neck. Yep, they're right with each other on even pace. They're keeping pace with each other. Hauser yeah. getting ready for it. Set up for a Tetris. Boom, Tetris for Hauser. We're neck and neck on top. And Buko's still trying to dig himself out of that. Not ideal, he's got a lot of holes to fill. Shaking his head, it's getting kind of high. Yeah, this is a problem situation over there. Oh, but he had just the right pieces, so he should be okay now. Yep, he's oh, Boom, but it's got Jonas. But it's got to block that hole, unfortunately. Jonas with a very interesting eye spin. I think he's going from an eye spin to a possibly no. He didn't go for a T spin. Um, oh, there we go. Finally getting the pieces that he needs, but even still, Buko shaking his head because he knows that this cleanup process right now has been costing him a lot of time. But Jonas is doing some cleanup of his own. I think he was trying to do something that didn't quite pan out, mm -hmm. and uh, now he's cleaning up some stuff. But he's still ahead by 100,000 points. Buko catching up a little bit with the Tetris right there. Meanwhile, Hauser and Alex still on pace with each other. Although I think Alex might be ahead by a little bit, just by maybe one Tetris. One Tetris, 
Hauser opting not to go for the Tetris down the left. He's going to clear off the top first. Yep. Well, there we go. So now he's freed up to... Oh, no. One piece Double. too early. Oh, he's ready. There he goes. Boom. Tetris for Hauser. One Tetris ahead is Alex. And Buko's still trying to battle back. Now he's dug himself out, though, and he's a beautiful play field going on here. And there is a long bar. Boom. Tetris for Buko. And a misplacement for Jonas now. He's Jonas. got some interesting cleanup to do now. But you know <laughs> Diving what? board roof set up <laughs> for, for Jonas. He's building a roof. It's rainy here in Portland right now. He's just trying to keep <laughs> the rain out. That's all. But and he's going to be able to clear it out nice. just like that. Yeah. Yep. And even set Boom, himself Tetris up for, for a Tetris. And the smile on Jonas's face. I like it. <laughs> Maybe the only rain coming down is going to be Tetris's for Jonas. Let's see. But Buko's ready for one right now. He just needs that long piece. Oh, he had to cover it up just a bit. But there it is. Boom. Tetris for Buko. And a slight but drought right now for Jonas. So I'm not sure. Yeah, I think that's a drought that uh, Buko's already gone through. Oh, perfect burning timing for and Jonas. ready for the long piece. Boom, Tetris for Buko. So both of them with some Tetris. Jonas not ma making use of that long bar because he's got to build it back up first. Meanwhile, we're neck and neck on the top matchup with Alex just getting a Tetris and having a slight lead now. Hauser ready for one, two. There it is. Long piece. Boom. Tetris for Hauser. And after a slight Jonas drop there, about 17 Tetris. pieces. And now Hauser. Buko is going to get a triple on top if he gets a long piece. Oh, there's a Tetris for Buko. Nice. Built on top. Nice. Making use of every piece, no matter where the position is. He's ready for another one. Buko's board is really strong right now if you get another long bar. Yeah, Jonas is just looking for that J piece. Got it. And so he's going to be able to set up the Tetris for himself. And there it is. Boom Tetris for Jonas. And Buko has transitioned. Level 19. Still waiting for that long piece. Gets a little bit more points if he gets it on level 19. But slight drought there. Reduces it down. Now it might only be a triple. Yeah, now yeah he wasn't able to use that stack. And Jonas transitioned now. Actually, all of the players have transitioned. Buko transitioned a little bit earlier than everyone else. Yeah, Hauser's uh, stack needs to get burned down a bit. If it's in the middle of a drought, it's going to get ugly. He made a triple right there. He's going to have to burn it down from the top. Nice. Tetris for Buko here on level Boom. 20. Tetris for Jonas. Looking Hauser for a J piece now. Got it just in time. And the square piece. Perfect. Alex is ready for a Tetris. Playfield. Oh, missed drop there. If he could get a long bar over to the right, he's no. not going to be able to do it. So right now, Hauser is still alive and just needs to get one Tetris to get back into the lead and take the game from Alex. And he's far enough ahead that he could probably just go for some safe play, just some doubles and triples yeah. if he really wanted to. He could play conservative. Either way, it would probably work, and he's capable of doing both. Mm -hmm. But that was disappointing for Alex. He had a beautiful setup, and he just needed to get the long bar over just a bit, but it got hung up in the middle. Yep. Well, he is going to get one of these nice goofy foot controllers, and, you know, he'll be able to hyper tap it. now. <laughs> Maybe, yeah, Hauser's just um, going for singles here. He's just going to play it safe. Yeah, Hauser's playing very safe right now. You can see basically about 1,000 points Almost per intentionally, single. Yeah. Intentionally going for singles here. Yep, only needs nine more to go. There's one, yep. two. Yeah, you can see right now. Not even a double, just yeah. singles. <laughs> I like it. I like Four. it. Four. <laughs> Three, two, two one. one, point five, <laughs> <laughs> point five, <laughs> and there it is. Boom. Hauser's gonna take boom round single number for one. Hauser. <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh. oh, Buko just topped out, and Jonas had a massive lead of 126,000, 134,000 yeah. points there. That's a tough situation right Jonas there. Jonas takes round one. Hauser takes round one. And that and that's the scary part. You know, where Buko was at right there, he knew he had to play aggressive. If he's down by, that's at least five Tetrises right there. And, and at that level, it was probably not going to happen, mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. even if you survive. All right. So, wow. I've seen Buko kind of do that before, so you never know. Both games finishing at almost the exact same time. So we're going to be moving on to game number two between all these players now. And we get to do a countdown. That's right. All right. You guys ready? You guys got to help in the audience? Three, Three two, two, one, go! go! Well, uh, it's okay. It's okay. It's not time-based. There we go. Okay. 
<laughs> <laughs> no problem, no problem. We don't disqualified. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> All right. Boom, Tetris for Hauser. Yep, so Hauser and Alex both getting Tetris as the start off. That's what you would expect from these players. I mean, it's crazy that after we get to the end game situation when they start up a game again, how slow level 18 looks, but how fast it really actually is. <laughs> yeah. All right. Boom, Tetris for Alex. And uh, Alex with a slight lead. Neck and neck on the bottom with Buko versus Jonas. Jonas getting his Tetris as well. Setting up for another one. There it Boom, is. Boom, Tetris for Jonas. Yeah, for both of them. Look at this. They're yep, only 62 points neck neck. Yep. separating them. <laughs> and that's just like peace pull down speed at that point. Exactly. All right. Boom, Tetris for Buko. And now Alex Boom, for Tetris one. for Jonas. No I was expecting a spin there from Alex, but I didn't see one. But he clears it off. Ready for a triple, ready for a Tetris. Boom, Tetris for Alex. Boom, Tetris for Jonas. Boom, Tetris for Buko. <laughs> and Hauser had one as well. So all of them getting Tetrises almost simultaneously. Nice, generous piece collection here yep. by the random generator. Random generator. Some days it's your best friend, other days you don't know what you did to it to make it so angry at you. Boom, Tetris for Hauser. I'm sure many a Tetris cartridge may have been abused due to uh, <laughs> poor piece randomization. Uh, well, Hauser unfortunately has a little bit of a hole there on column number two, so he's got to clean that out. And you can see him kind of going for it, but has forced to place that S piece right on top of it, so. He's probably going to work for a column one Tetris right now. Boom, Tetris or Buko. Jonas oh. made another one just before that. He almost had it. Yep, no, he's set up there. And yes, he has a Tetris set up. But he's on a 25-piece drought, which just ended. Beautiful stuff. Hauser was able to get a Tetris during his cleanup. So that's great for him. And Alex has a, a two and a half Tetris lead. He's doing pretty well. Um, he's going to clear off that. Or is he set up again? Lock in there. And then he's ready for Tetris again. Jonas just needing that to slide right there. Now he's got himself up, set up for a Tetris. But a little bit of a drought now. Nothing too terrible. He's in a good position that he could still keep cleaning his stack. Yep. But now it's Huge 24. Drought. Yeah, 25. Yeah. Both of them are there dealing with this right Boom. now. Boom, Tetris yeah. for Jonas after a big drought. Buko's going through the same drought. Boom, Tetris for Buko. Yeah, but it, it cost uh, Buko a little bit more. You can see that drought hurt him just a tiny bit more. Yeah, his setup is not nearly as clean as Jonas. Yeah, and now with a little reliance on the L's and J's and I's to clear out the stack. Over on the top screen, Alex is now in commanding lead, 90, 95,000 point lead. So Hauser's going to have to do some catching up. Their pace is about identical. Hauser, boom, Tetris. Mm. Kind of a situation now for Buko. Okay, well, no, he's okay now. Gets Tetris. Boom. There it is. And Hauser ready for off center. Well, boom. Tetris for Hauser. And uh, taking back Alex's lead just a little bit. Alex's board is so clean, he has to build back up to even get back into position again. Boom. Tetris for Jonas. Nice. Jonas now with a bigger lead than he's had before. I believe Hauser's going to be setting up. Oh, no, he's going for the clean. He's going for cleaning right now. thought he was going to set up a Tetris on the side, but nope. Going to his, uh, you know, I mean, obviously, first time we've seen him, but his patented uh, center well. <laughs> now it looks like Alex is all set up for a Tetris. There it is. Boom, back to a 100,000-point lead for Alex with a Tetris. Hauser having to do some burning. There's holes all around, so he'll have to do some catching up once it, once the dust settles from that. Oh, Buko's getting an ugly play field here. He's going to do some tucking. Yeah, he's going to be all right. Yep, he'll be okay. He, he burned it down, though, smartly. Mm, but now, unfortunately, yeah, had a bad ideal. spot to throw the square piece. Yeah, but good piece generation right there for him, although the eye piece came just maybe a little bit too early, so he's just going to hope for another one right now. There it is. Boom, boom, Tetris for Buko. And boom, Tetris for Jonas. 
He's ahead now, 80,000 points. Yeah, interesting right now, all the matches that we've seen have usually featured these guys being very close. But right now, you can see in both of the matches, Jonas and Alex with a pretty commanding lead so That's far. That's probably the biggest, yeah, one of the biggest leads we've seen so far in the top eight. And uh, the Hauser's just focusing on burning off here. Yeah. He's just trying to play it safe to get it back down to a manageable mm. level. And Buko right there just missing the Tetris by one piece. Oh, Boom. frustration. Tetris Alex. We have almost a 200,000 point lead with Alex here. And uh, yeah, Hauser's going to have to up his game by the time the transition happens, which is happening in a couple of pieces here. And one, more, one more line and it'll uh, be level 19. And both players have transitioned. These Alex luckily Tetris just there and uh, got himself out of... Uh, building too high during the transition. These pieces have not been friendly to Buko at all. He's been getting every piece almost one decision too late, and it has been costing him. He has been cleaning up this whole entire time, finally getting himself back into... All right, boom, there we Tetris go. Tetris for Hauser on level 19 going to 20. So Hauser maintaining his aggression, but boom, Tetris for Alex maintaining uh, his aggression as well. Level 20 Tetris is here. Alex trying to set himself up that square. Alex not slowing there. down at all. He's going. He's going for it. Oh, one no, he, no, he does really just goes for the triple okay. instead. Yeah, just dialed it back it just a bit. Playing it safe. And this is the advantage right now of knowing that you're up by this many Tetrises is that you can afford to play a little bit safer. Yep, be set up for another one again anyway. Is he gonna hold out? No. Holding a little. Oh, nice. Ooh. Slid that right Gotta in there. Yeah. Choice. He's going to have to clean up, but a little bit of a Up misdrop right. there. There it is. Triple, though. Yeah, because of that one misplacement. But so now he's got to go into some cleanup routine. Meanwhile, Jonas here with a really, really comfortable stack right now. Not in any danger. And with a nice lead as well. Uko making his way back right now. Jonas with a really beautiful setup here. A couple more pieces could actually get him a Tetris. He's got a pretty nice lead though. But boom, Tetris for Jonas. He goes for it anyway. And Alex finally cleaning himself up. Yeah. Buko's got a tough situation here. Yeah. He's get over to oh, the he left. can't slide it Couldn't far enough. It and wasn't going to happen, and Jonas, and Jonas is going to take it. Match. Jonas has eliminated Buko. But an excellent top four finish for Buko. Great seeing you again. But shout outs to Buko. He, he had managed to send Harry home. You know, if he hadn't done that, we would have had the Harry Jonas match here. But he played spoiler in that situation. So great job to Buko. He's going to finish tied in fourth, in third place. And we're going to find out who the other third place finisher will be relatively shortly. Hauser with a big point deficit here. Alex marching on to level through level 26. We're gonna see kill screens pretty soon. Well, so Alex. Hauser's gonna have to play pretty much all Tetrises if he wants to win this one. Well, Alex needs this one because remember he Boom, is Tetris down one game right now. Mm -hmm. mm, these pieces right now have not been working too in much of Hauser's favor. So he's just going for nothing but doubles at this point because he needs to clean the stack. Alex looking over at the screen, seeing how safe he is, and I think he knows he can't be completely oh well no here we go he's yeah here. he's only down by one tetris now one but alex is about to hit the kill screen Ooh. he's gonna go for tetris to to end it because he's, he might actually need it to, to maintain his lead oh but, but no hauser, but hauser yeah what's up can he stay alive Ooh, oh what a rotation that was beautiful stays oh alive my God. oh it goes for the flat plate oh, no, he, he misses the l oh 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 my god! Top no. out! And Alex survives! Wow! Just barely! Just barely! Alex survives, and you can see Hauser so frustrated. And I can hear some choice words from Hauser <laughs> from where I'm sitting, but we will not repeat that for the sensitive. <laughs> there we go. All right, we're showing, yeah, we're getting some emotion from the player now, and uh, we're going to start our next round relatively soon. Here's shout-outs to the audience. <laughs> awesome Tetris gear on display there. So we're going to a game three between these two competitors. Both of them have been very close, so this one, I got to imagine, is also going to be another close match. And interesting styles, you know, we have uh, Alex Kerr, who's 
who's been with us pretty much since the beginning and uh, right. you know he's he was in our grandmaster tournament <laughs> yesterday and he's here again and That's right uh, we've got you know hauser with self-proclaimed first time in in the finals and uh you know he's uh <laughs> Ready Doing to well. rock. Yep. Yeah, we're going to see 1-1 one, one here. So. so let's count them all in right now. This is going to be game three for Hauser game versus three. Alex. Match point here. Three, three two, two, one, go! go. And I don't I don't see, think we see this matchup happen very much. So, uh, you know, we've got you know, Alex, who's very capable, very fast. Plays a little bit high sometimes. And we've got Hauser with, you know, the patented... Um, Hauser well mm -hmm. that goes down the middle so um, Alex now with just a little bit of cleanup there Hauser ahead by one Tetris so far boom Tetris for Hauser yeah, boom so, Tetris for Alex so right now Hauser is with a true one Tetris lead both of them set up pretty much ready to go for another Tetris and there it is boom Tetris for Alex Hauser set up for his building it up yeah, but a little bit of a mini drought here. Yeah, 13 piece drop, but Boom. not too bad. There you go. Able to recover, uh, able to wait that one out. No problem. Hmm. Didn't get the square piece over there to the left uh, for Hauser. So now he's reliant on the J piece, but got it there. So he's okay now. Yep, just neck and neck, early rounds, early line clears. Nice play field set up, both ready for a Tetris. Nice there micro adjustment Boom, for Hauser to get him that, yeah, good stuff. Alex with the Tetris. Building it back up. Gonna do a line clear on top. Well, Alex hasn't tried quite, oh, that's gonna be the perfect piece to get him set right back up now. So now he just needs a long piece. Oh, he didn't throw the long piece over there at the edge. Didn't wanna put too high of a wall, I feel like, on the right side. Hauser's play field's looking great. Ready for a long piece, and there it is, damn. Yeah, as we mentioned uh, early on, uh, Alex had a true lead, but now the true lead is with Hauser, with a one Tetris lead now. Boom, Tetris for Alex. Exactly the same pace, both at 43 lines. Not much of a difference here. Yeah, it's anybody's game still. They're on pace with each other. It's neck and neck, not even a Tetris of a difference. Okay, so... Oh. Okay, Hauser blocked his well, trying to do some cleanup, but that's when the IP showed up. But he's okay right now. He's clean and he's all set up, ready for that Tetris. Yep, 43 point difference now. This is 1,000. Boom, Tetris for Hauser. And boom, Tetris for Alex. Yep, and now once again, you see the score virtually tied. Two players on pace with each other. And there we go, boom, boom. Tetris for both. Right now, I mean, it just seems like completely simultaneous and uh, marching on to level 19, and that's probably where we'll see start seeing the differences. And boom, boom Tetris, Tetris for Hauser. Hauser. And boom, Tetris for Alex. So you, even with the pieces that they're playing right, right. now, you can see they're just coming they're right after each other. Right about the same time. And yeah. uh, if you get the same pieces, then that'll happen. But Alex, Alex making more use of it there. Yeah, Alex is literally just one piece behind right now. You can see every piece that uh, Hauser's been getting is exactly what Alex has been getting right afterwards. And Hauser opting for some triples and doubles and singles. And that's why you see a point difference now. So mm -hmm. starting to get a little bit of a gap. But yeah, Alex's play feels impeccable right here. It's completely solid. All right, it's gonna have to settle for a couple of triples. Boom, so Tetris for Alex. So yeah, now the lead for Alex is growing just a little bit. Hauser having to clean up. He's going to be able to set himself up a Tetris right now, a uh, starting from the second row Tetris. Yep. Should be able to do it. There, there it is. is. Boom, Tetris for Hauser. And boom, Tetris for Alex. So this is important now for Alex. If he can keep maintaining this, if he can keep matching Tetris's right now, as long as he doesn't top out, he'll be in the lead. And the, all the pressure will be going on Hauser. But again, it's only a two Tetris lead, which right, basically just, is nothing. It was just that little section where Hauser was making singles and doubles, mm -hmm. and uh, that's where the lead started, and it's starting to grow. So, Well, we've yeah. got another row two Tetris here Boom, for Hauser. Hauser. Alright, 
definitely one of the most clean play fields I've seen for Alex. Mm. Interesting placement from Hauser right there. Like oh. his his pace right now, I mean, he's at 400k right now. Boom, Tetris for Alex. This is max out pace. For, he's mm. hardly made anything but Tetris at this point. It's crazy. Yeah, and, and unfortunately for Hauser, dropped one piece in the wrong place. So again, he's back to clean up again. He was right there, too. He was right there to be able to get himself back into a normal Tetris setup. So he's probably going to go for a Hauser well here. No, he can't, be, thanks to that uh, Z piece right there. Alex is set up. This is, this is insane. Boom, Tetris for Alex, and now he's almost at 500,000 points, and we're only at 118 lines. Okay, so Hauser waiting for the J piece to be able to slide that in there. And now, um, oh, no, one piece too early for that Tetris. Ah, and now he has to settle for the triple instead. Alex stopped it for a triple there, so playing it a little more safe, I mean. Yeah. Can max out, but sometimes that's not the best option, especially <laughs> if you're about to uh, transition to level 19, which he will do in one more line. Yeah, if you're he could do it with the Tetris. He's going to do it with the Tetris. That'll just give him a nice uh, score advantage, but his play field might not be that pretty if it doesn't give it to him soon. There it is. Boom, Tetris for Alex transitioning to level 19. Right. Speeding up, he's dealing with it quite well. Hauser also at 19 as well, but you can see right now the lead pretty high so unfortunately for Hauser it's the, the pressure is on him right now yeah Alex has been playing pretty much perfectly in the sense that he didn't make very many singles doubles or triples mm -hmm. I think I only saw like maybe a single and a double all right but set up for a Tetris both players are almost he took a triple Alex took a triple mm -hmm. so yeah giving Hauser a little bit of breathing room but there it is boom Tetris for Hauser and at this point in time for Hauser, this may be a, a question of survival. Boom, Tetris for Alex. Alex maintaining a little bit of the aggression despite his huge point difference. Yeah, if Hauser can try to maintain and just stay play safe, maybe he can take this if Alex ends up topping out early. It's a really wide point differential. Keep in mind that Alex has only made a couple of triples and doubles at all. Mm -hmm. Max out pace, but his play field's not as good as it was, so if he can work with it and he's burning it down all right setting up yeah see he's going for the tetris you can see there he just set up Hauser's the center world tetris. Boom, tetris there it is Hauser. and has the right pieces to clear himself all the way back down too beautiful stuff alex ready boom tetris for alex on level 22 level 23. If he keeps this up we could see a max out again the focus on the two players faces right now Barely blinking. You don't have time to blink for this. Triple for, for Alex there. Yeah, and right now Alex unfortunately has to do a little bit of cleanup there. You can see that hole right there. Covering up as best as he could. Mm. Not ideal pieces. Oh, he couldn't get it over there. He couldn't slide over there. And this and is what I was Alex saying. Alex tops out. This is what I was saying. This could be Hauser's strategy here. And he is in prime position now to try to steal this one. But the stack oh, is getting so happen. high. Oh. Yeah, that was not ideal. Alex eliminates Hauser. And the mullet is, wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Who's that? Is that Quaid? Fuck this. <laughs> Are we going to get a dual retirement here? Are we, is he the Michael Jordan of Tetris? <laughs> Part of me is now thinking of Total Recall, if people remember that line. You think this is the real Quaid? <laughs> it is. <laughs> so, we have our top two now. We've got That's uh, right. Alex Kerr versus Jonas Neubauer. Mm, interesting, all Happened right. Happened once before, I think in 2011. We 2011? We had a lot of players here. Yes. We had Corian, we had a Harry, of course, uh, and a SQR. All these people that a lot of people were expecting maybe to challenge Jonas. But no, it's going to be Alex Kerr making all the way here, playing really solid. He has been playing fantastic. And oh! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, a new challenger has entered the ring. Who's that? <laughs> it's Corzer. <laughs> Oh, man.
But yes, we are going to be going to the top two, but we're going to take a quick break before we do go there. And remember, top two is going to be three rounds. Three out of five. Three out of five. So guys, don't, do, just don't go anywhere. Stick around. We are getting to our grand finals coming up right after this break.